Hello and welcome. My name is Imran from imstech.co.uk and today I'm going to show you guys the best possible use of CSS, the power of CSS and just sort of demonstrate something I talked about in a previous tutorial where I said that CSS allows the web designer to sorry the web developer to control the look and feel and the big one of the biggest advantages of using CSS is that all your sites will be come similar and the look and the feel of the sites will be consistent I'm just going to demonstrate that using this tutorial right just to start off with I've got a site it's got four pages page one two three and four um, each page is identical apart from one thing where it says page one um, because it's page one page two will say page two three and so on um, each page has got a title um, um, just to start off with there's a table which has got three rows um, this is the page title which is a h1 tag the subtitle is a h2 tag the the main text um, is is in embedded within the p tag which is the paragraph tag um, I've got a link hyperlink and it's a link to nowhere I've just got a um, hash that's the one I've got a hash inside there and the footer is also a head sorry h2 tag um, right so just get stuck in um, to start off with the first thing we need to do is create a new CSS rule I'm going to create it for a tag um, start off with the h1 tag so I've selected tag and gone to the h1 tag um, this is going to be a link to an external style sheet because I want to attach all the the other pages to this so I'm going to create a new new uh, style sheet file press OK now I need to give this new style sheet a name and save it in the appropriate location I'm just going to call it style so it's going to save it as style.css I'm going to press save now this is the these are the formatting features um, sorry the formatting properties for the h1 tag I'm going to give it a font um, and give it a size and give it a color I'm going to keep it fairly simple just added three properties to it and um, press OK so now you can see the formatting properties have been added to the h1 tag I'm going to do exactly the same thing um, tag h2 tag and this time I don't need to create a new style sheet I've already got one which was the one I created before which is style.css press OK and give this formatting properties um, give it a font give it a size slightly smaller and give it a different color I'll try a lighter blue maybe um, now I make it more obvious um, press OK and you can see the two H2 tags have been appropriately colored um, back into it again tag this time it's the p tag um, which would be all this text there um, press ok give it a font give it a size give it a color go with the red just to highlight it and make it more clear press ok and you can see all the p all the everything embedded within the p tag has become red and that particular font which I selected now to for the link is a little bit more uh, sort, sort of there's a additional sort of a step that we need to take um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the hyperlink um, press new um, I'm going to select this bottom one so it's based on your selection the compound based on your selection. I'm going to drop down on the second drop down box and the important thing to notice is that to make for me to mention is that the hyperlink will be sort of enclosed within the a tag. Um, now the hyperlink will have different states first of all will be its normal state um, then once it's visited you can sort of maybe add a different color just so the user is aware that he's visited this particular link 
um, and hover is when the mouse is over so these three states need or well they don't necessarily need um, but they could have a different sort of um, a style a different color um, if you didn't want each individual state to have a different sort of a color you could just select the A and that then give it one particular sort of um, property but I'm going to try um, and, and just for the sake of sort of uh, showing you guys I'm going to uh, go through the three different ones so the link so that will be normally before it's been visited and it's on style.css press OK and I'm um, not going to do anything fancy apart from just select different colors um, going with brown press OK really quickly um, new again same thing but this time rather than linked I'm going to go over hover um, press OK um, give it a color uh, this time what did I select before brown so this time I'll go with something a little bit sort of towards the greener brown sort of a color press OK um, another rule again and press same thing this time it's going to be hover so this is as the mouse goes over the the link um, this time I'm just going to go with the red no actually I'll go with the yellow orange um, press OK so these are the three sort of colors for the three different states and as you can see there's nothing really fancy about this web page it's just a basic page that shows how to the power of CSS now I'm going to save this page um, this is page one now page two you can see there's no sort of uh, difference page one and page two now are sort of starting to look very different now if I wanted to sort of make the pages sort of similar and give the, the sort of a uh, the consistent look um, all I need to do is this button right here which says attach style sheet I'm going to attach a style sheet and I'm going to attach the style.css that is the page the style sheet that we created um, just a second ago and press OK oh sorry it should have been done for the second page my apologies style.css press OK and now you can see that all the hard work has been done initially in creating the style sheet which has got all these properties um, all these rules sorry um, these are for the hyperlink that's for the paragraph tag for h1 h2 that we went through um, and now I can sort of just really quickly just link them to the style sheet press OK and this is the magic and the sort of power of CSS and it gives every page a consistent look and feel um, just to run this I'm just gonna press F12 um, save this save it and you can see that when I hover it's this orangey color yeah, at the moment it's brown um, now it's been visited it's kind of it's slightly different um, yeah so that that's sort of um, giving you a brief insight into the power of CSS um, just a quick recap just to go through what I've covered first of all CSS is stands for cascading style sheet and casta sorry cascading style sheets and cascading style sheets allows the web developer to control the look and feel of the website and give his or her website a, a consistent look and feel so that the web page sort of they look similar and there isn't many differences so the person can just sort of start creating a new page a new page and another page and every h1 tag will look the same every h2 tag will look the same the paragraphs will look the same all the links will look and look the same and 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 it, and it sort of allows um so say McDonald's wanted to create a website they can sort of easily control uh, the website and sort of their corporate colors could be sort of incorporated into the website and CSS allows that so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, simple tutorial um, showing you the power of CSS and my name has been Imran and visit imstech.co.uk and oh yeah um, rate comment and subscribe